dialogue is the most important thing that's happening in the film. As long as you remember that part, life becomes a lot easier. Dialogue always comes first. Always comes first. When you mix your score, if you're mixing it yourself, always remember that you don't mix it as though you would mix and master an album. It's different. When you're mixing for picture, you always have dialogue in mind. You always have, you're always making way for dialogue and some of the, some of the important sound design. And it's important that if, you, if, if, if you're not mixing it yourself, sometimes that might actually be better, that you get somebody else who's done this for many years to mix your, your scores for you. A good mixer will, will, will mix your music in a way that you're able to make it as loud as possible without it getting in the way of anything, so that it's audible. That's what a good mixer does. They aim to get just for it to be existent and for it to be as loud as possible. And that takes a lot of experience and it takes a, a trained ear to do that. And for that, for me, per, for me personally, um, with certain projects, especially projects that need to be mixed in 5.1, if you don't know how 5.1 works and you've never mixed in 5.1, don't do it yourself. Learn it, but don't do it yourself on a serious project that's already running. Hand it over to somebody that does it, let them do it for you, and give yourself time to figuring it out and learning and practice on, on past projects or projects that are not um, either on, on, on anything that's not uh, running or important. Take the time, practice, figure it out, learn um, the room dimensions, learn where things go in 5.1, but don't do it yourself if you don't know what you're doing. Don't. Just, just hand it over to somebody who knows. And take the time in finding that score mixer that will understand how you like your music to, 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 to be presented and build a relationship with them so that you work closely with them so that your turnaround is a lot faster. You don't want to keep working with different people because that just complicates your life because every single time you work with somebody new you have to learn how they work they have to learn how you work it's a whole endless back and forth on trying to figure each other out so rather do that once and once you've found that person let that be the person that helps you do that also important to understand how they do what they do and you also take yourself through the process of learning not to replace them at a later stage but to be able to get to that level of quality by yourself it's important to know what they do it's important to understand why they do what they do and how they do it so that you can grow as a mixer yourself because there might come a time where they're not available for you for your work and they're busy with big projects on their own or whatever the case may be and you need you still need to be able to deliver so you're always learning with film scoring. You're always becoming a better um, composer in, in, in many ways. And the learning never stops because the, that world is always changing. The technology is always developing very quickly. So you, 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 you try to know as much as you can, but the, 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 the important fundamentals of mixing is that you're not just mixing because you want it to just sound nice. You're mixing for it to fit nicely, to sound good, to sound very nice but to, to to fit with the dialogue and the other sound design and for it not to get in the way sometimes if you if you make things too bright they stick out and you hear them and you know there's so many technical aspects to mixing for for film that sometimes it's better to be in the size of the room that you're mixing for so some of the guys who mix for for feature films, they'll take their music and reference it in a cinema so that they can hear how it translates and it will inform your mixing decisions again after that. 
so i know in south africa we don't always have access to that kind of stuff but there are people who do and finding the people that have those facilities and working closely with them building relationships with them allows you to get to that level of quality you know easily better you know so all of these things you have to learn mixing is a process that you learn over time and it, it can be very hard to understand but the more you do it the, the the better you become at it but always remember when you're mixing you're there's no mastering yet when you master it that's when you're putting it on an album and you're gonna then now put it on 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 title or apple music but when there's no mastering when you when you getting it ready for 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 film it, you just get to the best mix that you can and then once you have that best mix that best mix then gets mixed in with all these other things and then they do their final mix on top of that so always remember that that when with mixing it's a very just rather consult if you don't know what it is and get get yourself into the process of knowing exactly what's required it will it will take time but you'll figure it out eventually